If you're after a compact minimalist keyboard, then here we have the Logitech MX Keys Mini, a small 75% compact keyboard that not only takes up minimal desk space, but can also control up to three different devices with just the push of a button. It could be the only keyboard you need. But is it? Welcome to my tech gear. Let's find out. Now unboxing, let's just get the unboxing out the way. Here's the keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> Other than the keyboard in the box, you just get um, well the tissue paper that it came wrapped in and you also get a USB-C charging cable which is inside this box. Just to prove I wasn't lying. I do like the design of this keyboard. It's nice, it's small, it's compact, but you still get some of those extra features you'd expect on bigger keyboards like arrow keys. It is available in three different colors. This is the pale gray, which is a very Mac-esque type color, but you can also get it in graphite and rose as well. Now this version works with both PC and Mac, and it will also work with Chromebooks, Androids, and iPad and iOS devices as well. It has dual labeled keys at the bottom, so you can use either the options and command keys or the start, alt, and control buttons, depending upon whether you're using a Mac or a PC. Now, whilst the top of it might look like it's aluminium, well, it's not. It is plastic front and back. However, there is a metal plate in here to keep it rigid. There is a little bit of flex when you try and twist the keyboard. However, when it's down on a table and you're actually using it, it is solid, there's no flex, it is nice to type on. Underneath there are five rubber feet to stop it moving on the desk whilst you're typing. And you'll notice there's no legs under here to giving you different incline angles. However, the battery pack at the back acts as a constant incline angle, so it's nice to type on. And this keyboard is so low profile, especially at the front, you're not really gonna need a wrist rest to use this. Actually, you should compare that to the G915 I've got here. This is my daily keyboard that I use all the time. This is a low profile mechanical keyboard. However, if you compare that to the MX Keys Mini, well, the Mini is absolutely slim as compared to this. It's basically the thickness of the G915 without the keys. The keyboard has some smart keys across the top giving you quick access to some smart functions like diction. So if you press it, you can then dictate to your PC and it will type what you're speaking. It also has an emoji key button for a quick shortcut to the emoji menu as well. Now these functions are already available on your current keyboard on a PC, for instance. You can press start and H to get to diction or you can press start and full stop to go to the emoji menu. However, having it available via a single press just makes it easier. And you've also got some media keys across the top so you can mute your mic, you can play pause music, you can increase and decrease your volume and you can mute your speakers as well. Now you can press the function and the escape button to switch your top row between media and function keys so you don't have to keep pressing the function key to access the function keys. You can also reprogram the top row of keys using the Logitech Options Plus software on your PC. So if you don't use the diction function, for instance, you could remap it to open a new browser tab or a keyboard shortcut. And now we get to some of the cool features of the keyboard. So the keyboard itself is backlit white. It's not RGB, it's just white. There is a built-in sensor in the keyboard which will adjust to light conditions, or you can manually set that brightness using the increase and decrease brightness keys on the top row of the keyboard. It will also turn the lights off entirely if you haven't been typing for a while. Personally for me, during the day, I do prefer to turn the backlight all the way off because I find the keys easier to see in daylight. Charging wise, you will get 10 days of battery life on a full charge, or you can get up to five months if you turn the backlight off. The keyboard will charge using the USB-C port at the back using the provided USB-C cable that came with it out of the box. However, you can only use that for charging. You can't use it to hardwire the keyboard to your PC and use it like a wired keyboard. It is charging only. You can easily pair the MX Keys Mini with up to three different devices over Bluetooth. You can then easily switch between your different devices using the three easy switch keys on the top left of your keyboard to instantly connect to those different devices with just a single key press. Once you've paired the device, of course. Pairing is a simple step of holding down one of the easy switch keys until it starts flashing, selecting the MX Key Mini in the Bluetooth menu on your device and entering the number that pops up on your device on the keyboard. Here's a tip, do make sure you press enter after you enter the number though, because otherwise it won't pair. The keyboard is compatible with Logitech's Logibolt USB receivers, although one is not included in the box. It is, however, not compatible with a unifying receiver, so that might be an issue for some people. Once it's set up, though, it is super seamless to go from a PC to a laptop to an iPad, going back to your PC, 
or with one keyboard and just the press of a button. And that is super awesome. You now essentially have one keyboard for all of your devices. Unless, of course, you've got more than three devices, of course. Now, whilst the keyboard is compact, the keys are well-spaced and the keyboard doesn't feel cramped. The keys are quiet with a nice tactile feel to them. They aren't mushy to type on like some keyboards are. There is a slight initial resistance on each key press, but with a smooth follow through that just makes them great to type on. Each key also has a rounded indent that helps make sure that your finger hits the middle of the keys, which also helps to reduce typos. It really is a great quiet keyboard to type on. And here's a sound test so you can hear it for yourself. So now you've heard it for yourself, it is also worth comparing it against the G915 that I had previously to compare it against because this is a low profile mechanical keyboard, it's my daily driver, and these are the linear keys. So these are the quietest mechanical keys that come with this keyboard. Now I thought the G915 was quiet and it certainly was compared to my previous keyboard, but compared to the MX Keys Mini, well, it sounds thunderous. The MX Keys Mini really is a quiet keyboard. So if you're typing for extended periods of time, that is going to be a joy to use. So should you buy it? Well, it's a yes and a no. It's a yes if you're after a single keyboard that allows you to easily control up to three different devices with minimal fuss, and you don't mind the loss of the keypad. It will set you back $100, which isn't cheap, but it is a good keyboard. If you want the keypad, then there is a full-size keyboard version of this available that you might want to look at instead, and that'll cost you an extra $20. It's a no, though, for two types of people. One, if you only live in an Apple ecosystem, then you'd be better off getting the MX Keys Mini for Mac version of the keyboard instead. It has the same features, but offers some additional functionality unique to Macs. Two, for casual gaming, the MX Keys Mini is actually pretty good to play with. However, for competitive gaming and a low latency keyboard, well, Bluetooth just isn't fast enough. For that, I would recommend something like the Logitech G915 or the TKL variant that I've got here. I've actually already done a review of this, so if you wanna go check that out, check it out in the link up here. I will place purchase links to both of them in the description down below, so you can go check them out for yourself as well. If you have enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and share it. Consider subscribing if you're not. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.